Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. World-class guitar and bass players, DJs, and recording professionals know for the stuff you love, Guard it with Gator. Today's tip is five easy acoustic rock songs you should know. Do you have a favorite acoustic rock song or more than one favorite? I sure do. Hotel California, Stairway to Heaven, and Here Comes the Sun, to name a few. Acoustic rock songs are great to listen to, to sing along with, and often evoke fond memories, which is why we love them so much. And for us guitarists, they can be a blast to play. In today's episode, I'll share five familiar acoustic rock songs that are easy to play on your guitar. I'll talk about their backstories and give you my playing recommendations. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in Australia, Turkey, Myanmar, Oman, and Sweden. So I chose these five songs because, well, they are some of my favorites and because they're easy to play using just a few basic chords. And I'd be curious to know if any of these songs are on your favorites list. Please be sure to share that in the comments section. First up is Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. He's a Northern Irish singer-songwriter who wrote, recorded, and released this song in 1967 on his Blowin' Your Mind album. It peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 and spent 16 weeks on the chart. It is Van Morrison's signature song. Brown Eyed Girl has been featured in films including The Big Chill, Born on the 4th of July, and Sleeping with the Enemy, and was a playback track on the 2015 video game Rock Band 4. To play this song, you'll use the chords C, G, D, E minor, and D7. And I like to play this one with my favorite go-to strum that I call Calypso. Next is the song Free Fallen by American singer-songwriter Tom Petty. It's the opening track to his 1989 debut solo album, Full Moon Fever. This song was written by Tom Petty and his writing partner for the album, Jeff Lynne. And as the story goes, they wrote and recorded this song in just two days. It's one of Tom Petty's most famous songs, as well as his highest and longest charting song, peaking at number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. It's been featured in film and television, including Jerry Maguire, The Sopranos, and Full House. I think you'll probably love this one because you only use three chords, A, D, and E. 
Plus, there's a super simple strum pattern for this song, which you can probably figure out yourself after you listen to this song a few times. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my unlimited lessons, classes, and courses, and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. The third song is called A Horse With No Name by the American band called America. The song was written by Dewey Bunnell for the band's self-titled album America and was released in 1971. It's the band's first and most successful single reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The song's inspiration came from Dewey Bunnell's memories of his childhood travels through the Arizona and New Mexico desert. And he has said, and I quote, that a horse with no name was a metaphor for a vehicle to get away from life's confusion into a quiet, peaceful place. This song has been featured in film and television, including Air America, Friends, and Parks and Recreation. To play this song, you'll use the chords E minor, D6 slash 9, E minor 9th, and D major 9th. Now, if these chords sound unfamiliar to you or difficult, don't fret, ha ha. The chord names do sound a little intimidating, but rest assured they're not super complicated to play. In fact, I like to say that the chords are easier to play than they are to say. If they're unfamiliar to you, just look up the chord charts. For this song, I use my go-to rhythm pattern, Calypso. The fourth song is Take It Easy by the American band, The Eagles. It was written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Fry and was released in 1972 on the album Eagles. It peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100. Originally, the song was being written by Jackson Brown, but he was having difficulty finishing the song. His then neighbor, Glenn Fry, heard the song and helped him finish it. Glenn is particularly credited with the line, It's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, slowing down to take a look at me. To play this song, you'll use the chords G, C, D, E minor, and A minor, and you'll probably never guess which strum pattern I like to use with this song. Yep, you guessed it, Calypso. And the fifth song is Wish You Were Here by the English rock band Pink Floyd. It was released in 1975 as the title track on their Wish You Were Here album. It was written by David Gilmour and Roger Waters. The super familiar intro riff written and performed by David Gilmour on his 12-string guitar was the starting point for their collaboration on this song. And it's been said that the lyric inspiration came from the mental health challenges former Pink Floyd band member Sid Barrett was experiencing. The song itself is pretty easy to play using the chords G, C, and D, and the ever-faithful Calypso strum. The intro riff can be a little more challenging, at least as you're first giving it a whirl. But keep at it because this intro has such a cool sound and is well worth your effort. So please be sure to let me know in the comments section if any of these songs are on your list of favorite acoustic rock songs. And have fun rocking these songs on your acoustic guitar! 
I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.